Today we're going to be having a look at how to make a kettlebell like this we'll be using sweep tool and revolve um, as well as text so we're going to be putting the text on it and yes it's a very simple design so let's get going this is pretty straightforward uh, we're going to go and add a canvas so I'm going to say insert canvas and this is insert from my computer in my downloads folder there we go, there's my image of the kettlebell I'm going to select this front plane here drag it so we can see it we will calibrate it now okay so then you right click on canvas and click calibrate I want to calibrate between these two points I'm going to say this is 150 millimeters um, I'm not sure what the actual measurements would be but we'll go with 150 um, I want to see my planes because I'm going to move this image up so I can start my drawing on the origin. Okay, so there we go. It's on the origin. Now, let me just hide this again. Yeah, that looks good. So, we're going to create a sketch on this plane now. Um, I'm going to start with the spline tool. We're going to use the revolve feature to actually get the shape we want and then we're going to go to line tool down to there so if you look at what we've drawn it's basically just that half moon shape finish sketch I'm going to just hide the canvas quickly we can use the revolve tool profile is that it's already selected axis we'll select this axis now you can see we've got a solid there in the rough shape of a kettlebell probably could have been a bit flat at the bottom but that's that's fine I'm going to turn the canvas back on now I'm going to want to do a new sketch also on the front plane I'm going to do this this handle I'm going to get the one profile and then mirror it um, so we'll go spline and I'm not going to start here because I'm going to actually want this thing, the profile that I'm going to sweep needs to start within here. Because if I start it here, I'm going to have edges where it's not touching on the side. So let me just start it here. Okay, and then I'll do a line L, X for construction, go down there. And we'll mirror this. I could have drawn the whole thing, but I just want to make sure that when our when our dumb our kettlebell comes together, it's all uniform. It's not the one side is lopsided. Okay, so we've got that part that we're going to be sweeping. So I'm going to construct a new plane, plane along path. So I'll select this path. Here you can actually move the plane to where you want. I want it at the very bottom over there. So now we're going to draw a circle on this plane that we've just created. Create sketch on that plane and just make sure 3D sketch isn't selected because that allows you to draw all over the drawing and it could get a bit confusing. So center diameter circle. Let's take that out to 20 millimeters. Okay, so finish sketch. Now I will select sweep. Select the face or the profile and the sweep path. So, let's just zoom out a bit. I want both of those and I want the join feature. So, as you can see, it's sweeping through there. Okay. Now we've got the basic kettlebell. Um, what I want to do though is I want to put a little uh, marking in the front so we can see uh, how much this one weighs. Um, so I'm going to create a new plane, offset plane, offset from this front plane, and I'm just going to put it just in front here, just in front of the kettlebell, and then we'll create a sketch on this plane. What I'm going to do now is find more or less the center here, because we're going to cut into here to make a little marking 
So there we've got that. I'm going to extrude, extrude cut. And we're going to go into that. I think that's a little bit too deep. Let's make that 25. Now we've got a flat surface that we can put some text on. So again, new sketch. Click on that flat surface and we'll create text. So I'm just going to draw my text box. I want that to say 12 kgs. I think that's a little bit small, so you can increase the font size. To what should we make that? 15? Mm, no, 15 looks okay. Let's see if we can get that to fit in. Nope, now it's doing funny things. I'm going to put a horizontal constraint on this. There we go. So now it's on that face. I'm going to extrude it. I'm just going to extrude it uh, about a centimeter or two. Maybe five moles is actually fine. So half a centimeter. And there. We have our dumbbell, or oh, our kettlebell, sorry. So there's our kettlebell. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, and keep an eye out for upcoming videos. So that's it from me, MJ, at Fusion Fundamentals. If you need help with any of your work, you can contact me at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. The email is in the description. Till next time, bye.